y'all so today i want to talk about my experiences on the getaway cabin i went ahead and did a solo getaway all by myself i know and it was actually really good it was refreshing and i just want to share how it all went show you how the cabin looks what i did during my stay there and what to expect so go ahead and stay tuned and i'm going to go through all that with you all Okay, so let's first talk about what to expect on the day you booked your cabin. So on the very day, you're going to get a text message just saying, hey girl, this is where you're going to be staying, this is the location, this is the code you're going to put in to get into your cabin, and then that's it. You just get up there, follow the directions to get to the location, put in the code, and boom, you are in your cabin. So I must say, when I first got into my cabin, I was blown away. The What really blew me away was just that big window by the uh, by the bed. That was really cool. And I don't know, I just never stayed like in a place like that before. So that was super awesome. And I love nature. So just the thought of being able to just wake up and see nature, like it's awesome already. But that blew me away. And then also the kitchen pretty much had everything you needed. It had the cups, uh, eating utensils lighter um anything you really need to cook or eat eat on it's in there they also have um complimentary um like tea and coffee but that is extra just letting you know because i did not know until like i took a tea bag and put it in my cup and then i'm like let me read what's going on here and it was like yeah it's a little fee i forgot how much the fee is so make sure you bring your own tea and coffee if you want to have that in the morning um that's a tip for you and also you know the bathroom the bathroom was nice it was clean it had everything I needed it also has like a little um, a little emergency pack it's like in a red container and it has you know some extra tampons if you need it it has some um what else band-aids if you end up getting hurt and then also the shower area was nice it was clean as well and it had your shampoo your body wash conditioner things you would need to you know bathe with so that was really nice towels all that is included so if you want to make a fire you're all covered there because they do supply you with some wood to put into the fire pit so you have your wood and they also give you i don't know the exact name of it but it's like a little fire packet that you light and then that creates the fire and then you're good to go quick and easy and simple so no worries there they also supply you with the things you need to make your s'mores with so they give you the marshmallows they give you the chocolate and the graham crackers and everything so you can make your s'more and oh my gosh like that was my most favorite part of the trip was just making making some s'mores i couldn't eat it as much as i wanted to because like before i just had my braces um uh tightened so like i was in pain eating my little s'mores but i made it work you know i persevered i had a good I want to say four s'mores, but I just couldn't do it no more. But oh my God, so freaking bomb, so good. So I want to talk about what I did there, why I decided to go on this solo trip to this cabin, and just share with you my thoughts and experiences. So I went out there because I wanted to just get closer to God. I wanted to connect with nature and just disconnect from all the chaos and the anxiety and just work and everything. I just wanted to be in peace be in nature because I love the outdoors I love being around just solitude so it was just the perfect getaway for me um on my very first day I show up the mini fridge was down the mini fridge was not cold so I had to call up or uh, I texted the um the owner and she came out right away it was very quick so if you ever have an issue they'll be right on it so that's covered so um I had to wait outside to um you know for them to switch out the new fridge and then i look up and i see a eagle now i don't see eagles on the daily basis <laughs> i was not expecting to see an eagle so i went ahead and took out my phone did a quick little google real quick you know i had a little service and then i had to put in like what does it mean when you see an eagle me i'm always thinking like if i see something out of the ordinary it must be a sign from God, okay? So I looked it up and it basically said, just to summarize, uh, you're about to embark on a um, on a new journey. It symbolized bravery. And I'm just like, okay, you know, I'm on my little self journey, my self love journey and my journey with God. So I feel like it was pretty much perfectly aligned with my destiny, with what I had to kind of look forward to 
in my future so i'm like wow like are we already popping off strong like this so that's just me and as soon as they switched out the fridge i immediately started getting my s'mores together got my little fire together it was a struggle on the first day creating this fire y'all like I never created a fire by myself before and like looking back I'm like Samira why didn't you like come on now but it's okay you know I'm gonna embarrass myself so that when you go and make your fire you know what to do and you won't embarrass yourself so I'm looking at this packet the fire packet right and then it had the logs like in this TP like tent kind of uh little triangle kind of shape tell me why I set my logs up that way and then I put the little fire packet under there light it <laughs> the fire is not touching this wood so I'm just sitting there waiting checking on the fire I'm like dang is it gonna light it what's gonna happen here and then I'm like I started poking at the wood and then one of the uh, logs fell and then like I seen the fire kind of eat it up <laughs> And then I'm like, yeah, let me go ahead and lay these logs down. Like, I felt so slow, y'all. I felt so slow, but it's okay because we got it together. And we went ahead and got our fire together. Our fire was thriving. It was doing its thing. Then I go to make my s'more and everything, and it was so good. So good, y'all. But honestly, my marshmallow was not cooked enough. It was not soft enough. I ended up breaking like the top part of the graham cracker, but it's all good. I made it work. I still ate it. <laughs> it was still good anyway. So that was my first day. And then I ended the day just, you know, reflecting, journaling how I felt, how my experience was going so far, and then went to sleep. And then um, the second day, you know, I just woke up, looked outside and just embraced the nature that I was looking at through this window. And it was really just an awesome feeling. And then I went ahead, made me a little tea, the one you got to pay for, by the way. And then I had my bananas I brought with me, and then I journaled. I just journaled, cleared my thoughts out, went ahead and planned what I wanted to do for the new year, who I want to be, what kind of goals I want to accomplish. And I just love doing stuff like that. It just keeps me on my toes. It keeps me looking forward to doing things. So that was nice. And then, you know, the, for the rest of the trip, I just tried to just, you know, enjoy it made more fires made more s'mores of course i went ahead and brought my art supplies as well so i went ahead and tried to draw a little something something while i was out there and i don't know y'all that was it that was my experience so i would highly highly recommend if you go do it by yourself or with a partner um if you do it by yourself you'll be totally fine there's people around the area you're not totally secluded you'll see some other cabins off at a distance but the trees are kind of covering them up so you still have your privacy but you will have like someone to go to if anything were to happen but i'm pretty sure you will be fine you'll be okay you will enjoy yourself so yes that is it i hope that this video answered any questions you have about the getaway cabin and that you book your trip very soon and i will see you all in the next video bye